If you're having trouble printing with your HP OfficeJet Pro 8100 model, then stay tuned because I have a solution for you here in this video. Hey YouTube, what is going on? The Printer Guy here. And today I've got the HP OfficeJet Pro 8135E. And what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm basically gonna be showing you how to fix this printer. If you've clicked on this video, it's because you're either printing blank pages, not able to print a certain color, or you have an overall and general print quality issue. That means you have faded prints, lines coming up in your prints, and just overall not really great print quality. If you have a printer that is a similar printer model to this, but it's not the exact one here in this video, don't worry. You most likely will be able to use the instructions in this video because you're gonna have a similar print head. Now we'll be able to confirm that later on in this video, but don't go anywhere because the instructions for this printer are gonna apply to a lot of other HP OfficeJet Pros that you may have. Now if this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. All right, so the product we're gonna be using to solve this problem that you're having, which is printing blank pages and all of the issues I mentioned, with printing with this printer is you're gonna use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. This is a product that I'm constantly improving, constantly tweaking so you can have the best performance when you're performing a print head cleaning. There are instructions on the packaging. Of course, use these instructions along with the instructions in this video. And what you see on the box here is not all you get. You're gonna get this in your package. This is what comes with the kit. It's gonna be a silicone tubing already attached, 20 milliliter high performance syringe, and you have a bunch of different attachments. I'm gonna show you which attachments you'll need. I also included some plastic gloves, so you'll be able to use those. So this is a highly rated product on Amazon. Right now it is sold with 100 milliliters of this cleaning fluid. Now if you really needed to extend the amount of fluid you may need, you can dilute this with about 50 milliliters of water. You don't wanna go past that point because then you start to lose the solubility of the solution. Now there will be a link down in the description below for this cleaning kit. You can pause this video, go down to the description box, click the very first link that is there described as the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. You can go to the Amazon listing page and you can make a purchase. That way you can have the cleaning kit coming on the way and if you're in one of the major zones of Amazon's warehouses, you can get it within a day or two or maybe even sooner. Now there's a lot of kits that you can buy on Amazon. They may be less expensive, they may be more expensive. This is the cleaning kit and the only cleaning kit that I recommend because I've been doing this and I've been using this cleaning kit personally for the past few years and I have been developing this product over the last seven years. So I really appreciate when you support the Best Printers Cleaning Kit and buy this product. Uh, it is gonna help you solve a major issue and help you save a lot of money. I also have a support website, bestprinterstech.com. If for whatever reason you're having issues, there are FAQs on there that you can use. All right, so there may be other products that I end up talking about in this video. There's gonna be links for those products also down in the description below. And on this video, there are chapters. So I really appreciate when you watch the entire video. And if you're doing this repair, watch this entire video from the beginning to the end without skipping around. But the second time you come, you may want to skip around. There's going to be chapters in this video so you can skip around to get to the parts that you need to get to. Again, I highly recommend if you're doing this cleaning for the first time, watch this video from the beginning all the way until the end without any skipping around. All right, so without any further ado, let's get right into this repair. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is we need to print a print quality report. So to print one of those, we're going to go to tools, we're going to go to reports, and under reports, we're going to be able to find status reports and from there we're going to be able to print off a print quality diagnostic report that's a, the exact name for it you're going to print that off this is going to be very important because unless you're printing blank pages with this printer this is going to indicate and tell you what colors need the most work now in this case i'm just doing this cleaning for demonstration purposes and so there's really no issues with the print head but if you did have issues you would circle them like this and you would just take note of the fading, the breaks in the print. So that way, when you get to the point where you're doing the cleaning, you actually will know which colors need the most work. It may be that two of the colors don't need work and two do. Or it may be that just one color is giving you the most issues. And so you will know that by printing off that report and making note of which colors are having the most issues. Now, you're going to print off another report and you're going to unplug the printer and 
that's going to cause for the print head to be centered and unlocked. That's the most important thing for it to be unlocked. You're going to pull out the paper that was about to be printed on, and now you're going to remove the ink cartridges. Now, the ink cartridges most likely may have some ink. They may be dried out. Sometimes in the system settings, it shows that they're full or they're halfway and they're really dry in reality. So you have to do a manual check. Once you're at this point, though, you're going to take some paper towel. You're going to fold it up just like I'm doing here. Any paper towel will work. And you're going to slide this or rather you're going to slide the print head over the paper towel. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. This is important because you're going to be pushing cleaning fluid through the print head and it needs somewhere to escape to. It needs somewhere to be absorbed. If you just do it without paper towel, you're going to, to pretty much make a big mess all around the printer. So once you fold it up the paper towel, you're going to place it down in the print head carriage area and you're going to slide the print head over the paper towel. You want it to be centered. Now, one note with the paper towel is while you're doing this cleaning, you can swap it out after every 20 milliliters or so. And I would recommend that you do that or at least move it over so that a different part of the paper towel is getting soaked. If you haven't already purchased the best printers cleaning kit, link down in the description below. This is the cleaning kit we're going to be using to solve this problem. You are going to be using three different attachments from the kit this yellow piece, the clear larger piece, and then a small L-shaped plastic piece. These are all included with the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Make sure that you use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit and purchase it. There are other kits out there. I can't speak to those kits. I can only speak to the Best Printers Cleaning Kit when we're doing this type of cleaning. So there are two L-shaped plastic pieces in the kit. You only need one. You're going to attach it to the syringe tubing that's already attached to the syringe. And now we're going to first use this larger plastic clear piece. This is the piece that you'll need to use for the black nozzle. If you're not having trouble with your black ink nozzle, you won't need this attachment. Another note is before you attach these attachments, you will want to fill up the syringe with the cleaning fluid because it's going to be very hard to take in any solution when the attachment's already attached. I would fill up all the way to 20 milliliters or more and then you're going to want to push at least 10 milliliters at a time per color you have 100 milliliters to play with so push 10 at a time per nozzle you only have four nozzles and so if you divide that up into the four nozzles if you needed to clean all of the colors you would divide 20 milliliters per nozzle that would bring you up to 80 milliliters so you could clean them twice with one bottle of cleaning fluid now if you feel that you may need more cleaning fluid you can dilute the cleaning solution with 50 milliliters of water that would get you 150 milliliters of cleaning fluid you don't want to go above that because you're going to dilute it down way too low so this yellow attachment is for the other colors that I'm using now. So it's going to be for magenta, cyan, and yellow. Right now I'm cleaning yellow. And it really depends on what colors you need to clean. If you don't need to clean all of the colors, there's no need to continue to push cleaning fluid through. Also, if you're having trouble pressing the fluid into the nozzle, you're going to want to take a step back. You're going to need to warm up the cleaning fluid. There is a video on my channel showing you how to warm it up two different ways. Or you can go on my website, bestprinterstech.com. There are two different ways. One is with the microwave and one is with over the stove. They're both very specific. Uh, you want to follow those instructions because doing this can be dangerous if you don't do it the right way, especially with the microwave. So now we're going to be removing this paper towel. We're going to be drying up any excess that may have dripped outside of the paper towel or under it. And this is where you're going to want to replace your ink. Preferably you buy some new ink. There's going to be a link down in the description below for some new ink. If you know for a fact that your ink is totally full and it's totally functional, there shouldn't be an issue, then go ahead and use your old ink. But if not, please, please, please make sure to swap out at least the colors that had an issue swap out those colors for new ink cartridges i'm going to be leaving again a link down in the description below it's a very very important part of this process now we're not done we've done the manual cleaning which you may have to do two or three four times if it doesn't work the first time but after the manual cleaning what we're going to do now 
is we're going to do the print head cleaning through the maintenance within the printer. So you did a manual cleaning. Now we're going to do a printer cleaning, which the printer does. The reason why we're doing the printer cleaning is because it's going to push the new ink that you've installed into the system. It's going to suck it in and it's going to charge it so that you're able to actually start printing. Then you're going to print off a report that will show you if the color in fact has come back this is where you can determine if you need to do another cleaning there's three levels of cleaning i would do number three i went with number two and it ended up turning out that every color came back totally fine do not be concerned if you're not printing any colors anymore at this point when you do a cleaning many times it has the effect of cleaning the entire print head all you would have to do is do several of these cleanings level three or level two cleanings your color will come back. If the issue is not severe, the color will come back right away. If it's a little bit more severe, then you're gonna have to repeat this process from the beginning of this video until the end. So I hope that this video ended up being helpful. Please remember all of the product links that are in the description below. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And if this video was helpful, please make sure to like. If you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. But that's really all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck to you, and until next time.